Yes. Now, uh, lots to get on with on the show this morning. First up, let's meet our panel, Angelica Bell, Linda, <laughs> who, who was helping heroes last night. Yeah, I went to the Millings last night that the Sun put on. It was brilliant. Um, I think... Wills and Harry there? Wills and yeah. Harry was there. Loads of famous people sat on a table with Fabio Capello. Okay. Signed my little place name. But I, I loved it, and I loved it even more because you, we hear about the war, we hear about people dying, you know, two more names are going to be, you know, revealed today, people who passed yeah. away in Afghanistan. But seeing it for real and seeing the footage and hearing the bullets and seeing what our forces are doing, whether, whether you agree with the war or not... Any politicians there? David Cameron was there. OK. Yeah, so it was a really good night, and I think our forces are doing a fantastic job. Of course, he would be, wouldn't he? Of course, because the sun is now a, a Labour well, no-go yeah, exactly, area. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that no, makes sense. No, it was sense. great, and okay. Harry was hugging everyone, and it was lovely, really good. Our In forces a good way. are fantastic. Yes, nice pictures there as yeah, well. Yeah, really nice. Uh, thanks for the invite, guys. Uh, next to her, uh, we have Terry <laughs> Christian, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Enjoying your time down south. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. I keep thinking that I should get that. I'm, I'm going to do some Christmas shopping, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, have you been out at all yet and done anything? Um, well, what I've did, had what a look. What did you do after the show with your dad? Well, well, actually, I've had meetings and I'm doing, I'm doing a pilot meetings. today. Thank but you. I don't you like said, to talk about stuff. You said you couldn't be bothered to go and do Christmas shopping <laughs> after the show. So no, why are you no, saying no, that? Well, I, I, keep meaning, yeah. I keep meaning to go and do it, but then it looks a bit crowded and it puts me off. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'll be, don't you worry, I'll be wandering around that shopping centre next week with all the other dead-eyed <laughs> souls. If you go out on Christmas Eve, it's only blokes there anyway, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now then, our special guest for the morning is Claire Sweeney, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. How are you? I'm good. Do you know what I wet. love? What Terry was saying before, he said, the problem is I'll leave it till last minute. He says, and I just end up spending too much, getting us something too expensive. I said, perfect, man. Yeah. Stop perfect, what we want. No, it's all planned. <laughs> last year, last year, the sort of height of the credit crunch Christmas, I'll never forget this. I, I, was, on, uh, I was doing last minute Christmas shopping, literally four o'clock Christmas Eve, and I looked up New Bond Street, and I think I was the only person there. Really? I mean, really? it was empty. Absolutely empty. So obviously but I, I you also, did, I also you fell for the, uh, it's late, I haven't got an idea, yeah. spend loads of money and uh, you'll make someone make very sick. happy. I did all my Christmas shopping in November. Ah. Uh, do you iron your own sheets? Do you iron your sheets? Yeah, no. That's weird. OK, OK. <laughs> now, Claire, of course, uh, famously shot the famous Lindsay Corkill in Brookie. And by the time the soap was axed by Channel 4 in 2003, she'd been blown up, kidnapped, uh, jailed in Bangkok uh, before donning a pair of comfortable shoes and turning lesbian. Uh, Claire has done, uh, Claire's done so much since leaving, I really haven't got time to go through all her credits. So let's cut straight to the here and now. Panto. Oh, oh yes, I am. Yes, yeah. oh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> which one are you doing? And I'm where? doing Sleep and Beauty in Bromley, which is great because I can get home. I live um, just by Victoria. Jump on the train, ten minutes to Bromley. So I'm really happy. Uh, are you Sleeping Beauty? Turn up, fall asleep, I'm not go the home with all the money. And I'm the evil queen. Ooh. No. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I'm the evil no. queen. Yeah. Do you like playing baddies? You don't believe me, do you? Well, I'm, I'm quite surprised. <laughs> I'm quite surprised. Do you like playing baddies? I love it. I love getting abuse off children 10 o'clock in the morning. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I say no. it's the best contraception in the world. <laughs> <laughs> three shows a day, she said. Now, is it... No, not every day. Yesterday we did three shows, 10 oh o'clock in the morning. I come out, I've got kids booing me. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I get that, just walking through the front door. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, uh, Principal Boys, have they, have they been and gone now? Do you know, I, this is interesting, this, because I've done Principal Boy loads of times over the years. Mm. For, when I was 17, I was um, at Liverpool Empire, Prince Charm and Aladdin, and they've stopped doing it now. Because I was asking the current first family who, who do all the big popular pantomimes now, they, um, they're doing Aladdin at Liverpool next year, and I kind of dropped the hint, you know, be in Liverpool near me, mum and dad, and, oh, no, we get boys to do... The boys' parts now, and I would hate to see that tradition gone. Well, I, that's what I was thinking. I only heard about this the other day. This change. I think that we, we were looking around today, and we found I think one uh, principal boy part being played by yeah. a woman, which you know, is a shame. It really. is a shame, isn't it? Now, um, well, I heard this about your voice today. What's the like, oh, 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 what's what's question posed up? It's right back in the early days that you had a killer voice, quite literally. Oh gosh, I know what you're going to say. Yeah. So go on. Well, I used to sing in social clubs, and it was like Phoenix Nights, and I, it was, I did my apprenticeship <laughs> there, you know, Nelly and Jack on the organ and drums. <laughs> and one of them, I remember I went, I had a blind organist, and I gave him all my music, and I said to him, you know, I've got a nice Andrew Lloyd Webber medley there, I don't read music love, just shout out the key changes. So I'm singing, memory and C flat, and he's like, there's <laughs> playing away, you know. But I remember singing a song once, so it was, it was I don't know who's asked me to do it. I'm me singing. Teacher. I was 15. I was singing the nuns' chorus at Wallasey British Legion. <laughs> this guy jumps up, 
And he starts clapping me and he collapses and they go, oh, Fred's drunk again, you know. Passed him to the back, sat him there. I did my cabaret, played bingo, did the raffle, called an ambulance, he was dead. Oh, no. oh. He dropped dead during my song. <laughs> and he waited till the whole evening was finished, got the ambulance and took him away. God love him. Oh, God bless so. Now, you look amazing. You've got an amazing figure, but you deliberately put on two stone this year. What was it for again? Well, what it was, it was um, a documentary. I kind of watch what I eat. I look after myself yeah. and I'm oh, I used to. Look at that. Oh, don't. And uh, I, um, I just, they said to me, how would you feel about having the summer off? And just eating what you fancy and not exercise. And I thought, brilliant, get paid for it, eat what I want. Really, yeah. I'd have been Go terrified, because there's always that thing about trying to get rid, get of, rid it of it at the end. But anyway, well, I knew I was going back into a musical in September, Matthew. And so you I sweat it out. <laughs> Absolutely. But I said to them, that is going to be boring. Yeah. I said, why do people just want to eat and watch me get eat and get fat for the summer? That's going to be boring. Let's give it a little bit of jeopardy. Send me to LA when I'm at my biggest and send me for casting auditions oh, and see, see how they react. How they yeah. react. Two things came out of it. First of all, they said I couldn't work in LA unless I was a size six. I said I wasn't born a size six. You know, it was just so it's a UK size six. UK size six. I've never been chatted up so much when I was at my biggest by men. Yeah. Oh really? really? Uh, unbelievable. And I wondered if it was a natural instinct in man. You know, they say you know the rounder a woman, the more fertile. Yeah, maybe they thought you'd be more grateful. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> 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 it's true. Like it like true. <laughs> Do you know what? He's got a point because I kind of... I tried to Sorry, compensate. Sorry, just <laughs> No. <laughs> While you two find it out, let's tell the folks home about today's show. <laughs> it's just quite nice that they're going to hate you more than me for a change. Uh, after the break...